Hey everybody, it's BC here. I uh, just thought I'd drop in before the episode actually starts to let you know that uh, after this episode I actually end up doing a little bit of research, went on the wiki and learned a few things and as you can tell by region mix here, I uh, started working on some steel. Uh, we won't get into that, you'll see that. Well, you won't see the steel part, but you'll see what's going on pretty soon. Uh, needless to say, I have made uh, a few mistakes, but I learned a few things and uh, I have a better understanding of what I'm doing. So after this episode, things should get pretty interesting. Enjoy. Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Stationers. Uh, just doing a little bit of mining right now. I went and gathered up some gold and getting up some copper right now. And uh, I think uh, I'm just about done. As you can see, I got a bunch of copper and gold on me. I do have all the iron and coal I had before. But today, we're going to start making some progress. I did do a little bit of investigation. Sorry about that. Uh, a little bit of investigation of sort of how things work in this game. And it seems there's definitely different tiers of actual crafting machines, and the auto lathe just happens to be the lowest tier. Uh, with the auto lathe, we can go in to make. Uh, turn the jet back off. Uh, we can make. Uh, what was it? Uh, electronic printer. That's what we're making next. With the electronic printer, you can get up to the fabricator. Now, I think the electronic printer allows me to make the frames which actually allow me to expand my base. So we can't really, I can't really build too much more until I get that built. And then once I get to the fabricator, then uh, we can get it to solar panels. Get more solar panels, more power, everything. And uh, yes, I found out you can actually move these windows around. So I'm gonna leave these two open because I'll probably be using them more. I might actually switch them around like so. Uh, the mining backpack. Apparently you can make more of these, this mining belt. Apparently you can make more of them. I might do that, but that helps. Uh, also, too, the I found out about the tablets. The tablet has a beacon tracker in it. Uh, and then there's a, sort of like a Wikipedia sort of deal of the game, like different resources and plants and just basic stuff about them. And then there's uh, something about a network analysis tool and something else, but I'm not too sure about that. And of course it's dark. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, so uh, I'm pretty sure there's lights we can make at some point in time. Uh, that's probably out of power because I just turned that on. Uh, this, I was looking into this, and apparently uh, inside this box that battery is actually supposed to be like a backup. So I might take that out. Uh, let me manage inventory again, take that out, and I believe this power cell actually goes in there. And then I can put that one there. And that's just basically, uh, hang on, yeah, there we go. Uh, backup power for the system, and this apparently just uh, regulates the power going to the machines, just to make sure they all get equal amount of power, I'm assuming from the power source but uh, yeah as far as I know there's no output that's just for logic there that's nothing and this is a battery charger gotta make sure to turn my machines off because they drain power so fast anyway uh, yeah and we can also make these storage crates too uh, I'm trying to get some sort of inventory management one it's not easy uh, anyways, I do have an arc furnace when I need to place back down so I'm just gonna do that uh, I also learned too that there is let me take care of that right now. Uh, there, there is not what I want to do. Let's close that. Okay. Um, I was interrupted by myself. Oh, what was I saying? Conveyors, yes. There's uh, conveyors and logis logistical stuff we can do. And we will get to that in due time. Uh, so anyways, but yeah, we're still a little ways away from that. Uh, put those in my backpack for now. Apparently things do not despawn, which is fine. So let's see here, that is going to be, let's have it over here. Because obviously the output is going to be going right into uh, the doohickey there, what you call it. Uh, oh, there is actually arrows, I didn't even notice that, okay. 
So yeah, we'll do it like that. Oh, hold it. And get some power connected to it. Uh, so let me ramble on on my own for a few minutes until the sun comes up and I'll bring you back and I should have all this wired. Okay, I'm back. And apparently it turns out uh, my helmet can actually take both large and small because that's what I put in here to charge. Uh, sun hasn't come up yet. Uh, I do have to turn this around. I'll do that later. Uh, I do have coal that I can burn, so I'm going to do that. Uh, I do have to get out of my handy dandy mining belt here. Uh, that can close for now. Alright, and space machine. Dump that in there. Uh, that small battery definitely goes very fast. And it fell off. <laughs> okay, let's do this again. Alright, and I'll turn that on. Get those batteries charging. Are they charging? Yeah, they're charging. Okay. And, yeah, I guess I'll bring you back on Sony then. Okay, well, the sun should be coming up pretty soon. Uh, I do have... 16 coal left in there. I actually left that thing running. Oops. So, yeah, fill that up. And go ahead and turn the furnace on. Let's uh, see what we're going to put in first. Let's uh, I'll just do a whole stack of coal or gold. And that's going to give me the gold. I'll pop it out all in one stack. As soon as it's done, can't burn myself. No. Not there anyways, I've seen some of the other maps. Ooh, some of them are nasty. Yeah, there's one called the Vulcan, it's... Oh wow, that takes a while. And I need... I need... Oh, I only need two gold, and ten copper. Okay, we'll, uh... Turn that off then. It'll give me my gold. Can insert that in there. Take that out. I'll do a whole stack of copper because I have a feeling I'm gonna need a lot of it. This should go a lot quicker, right? And somewhat. I'll do ten pieces. Uh, the iron. I should have iron in there, do I not? Yes, I do. I just need the copper. And a bigger floor. I think that's going to be the first thing I do. Let's expand this slightly. Okay, and... Okay, that's ten. Give me my copper. And we will put that away. Pick that up. And if this, is, this is definitely a game of inventory management. If I've ever seen one... Okay, and this is gonna make a electronics printer. I just turned it on without even thinking about it. Now I have to make sure that the power holds up while this goes the whole hundred percent. Takes about two minutes for this one. Oh, sun's coming up. There she is. Good. I got enough power now. What if my flashlight can power this thing? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this game is still early access. I think it's version like 0 0.2, 0.2 something. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. 37%. All right, we are almost there. 57 watts coming off there. Oh, oh, I get to eat for the first time. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, I need food. Let's close this so I can actually see where I'm going. Over here, over here. Oh, jeez, I thought this was one of those games all you had to do was breathe. Cereal bar, 100%. Oh, okay, right click. Where is my hunger? I'm just looking at my stats right now. 
No. Oh. I don't see my stats anywhere. I must be missing something. Oh well, it tells me I'm hungry, I'll eat. Let's make sure to make more of those. Anyway, uh, this should be done. Here I am, rambling on, flying off into space, deorbiting myself. Well, technically not deorbiting. I should put those other stairs down next to my fall off the platform. And I'm stuck. Not anymore. Okay, turn that off, save power, and this is my printer. Okay, now this one, I want to, again, I want to make sure I have room for this. Just put it over here. Yeah, I can always pick it up later. Let's put it here for now. Oh, wait, hold on. Iron sheets, oh, it's one of these things. Okay, here we go. Wait, hold on. Do I have anything up here? No, I grabbed the wrong box. So, back we go. Let me finish this up and I'll bring you back when it's right to fire it up. Okay, that's it. I'm all done. So, let's see what this thing can do. How much fuel do we got left in here? None. Uh, you know what? We got sun. Let's chance it. Okay. Go in here, and this shows us everything this one can do, so I can make the power cells in here. Uh, a printer mod. Ooh, sounds fun. This is all stuff. I was talking about GPS. Ah, uh, that beacon up that I made. Apparently, I can actually use the beacon tracker on the tablet to see that, to find it. So this is all this stuff here, and here there should be... Kit. Here's the kit, so we can make a battery, which needs... Steel. Ooh, we're not there yet. Uh, beacon fuses. Computer console. Elevator. Fabricator. That's what I need. Iron, gold, and copper. Alright, well, let me get that ready and I shall turn. Okay, I'm back. I just had to go do a little bit of mining. Try to pick up some coal while I was at it. While I was waiting for the sun to come up, that is. Alright, and good old inventory management. Put that away so I have a free inventory slot. And I have coal, but that's fine because we actually have power now. Now, what I was doing is how much iron did I actually get out of this? I was waiting for the iron to smelt. And yeah, I didn't have enough power to actually do it. Fourteen. Why is it not stacking? I don't know. I was having that problem before with, uh. Oh, yeah. The copper ingots for some reason. They won't stack. For some reason, they will not stack. That's fine. Anyway, uh, so we need some steel, so, or iron. So let's see what we need for this thing. Let's turn it on. Zero, that's part of do this. 15 iron. Uh, 20 copper, oh, I need more copper, and uh, 5 gold, I need more gold. Okay, let me show up the numbers, or I'll, I will return. Okay, okay, I have enough. Alright, so, uh, generate, I, something just actually crapped out chest. Uh, just that's the one ingot I needed actually went through. Right. Oh yeah, need more copper. That's right. Which we're gonna just do, do it that way. Are you not gonna go in there? Come on. Why? There we go. Okay. Craft me a fabricator. This will. <laughs> just hanging out of fuel already. Does it really need the solar panel? Okay. <laughs> uh, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I decided to go mine a little bit of coal. And I don't know if you noticed the uh, icons on the left. Uh, a piece of coal fell on me. And uh, needless to say, my suit and my helmet are damaged. Now I have no idea how to actually repair them. But I do know I can make new ones. So at least that's what I'm hoping I do. So let's open this up, tool away, 
And then we can close that too while I'm at it. Okay, uh, what was I doing here? Oh yeah, this thing never actually finished fabricating because I kept running out of power. But now that the sun's up, I can go ahead and we'll throw uh, that in there, turn that on. This is up and running, we'll go ahead and start that. And I think the suit was actually in here. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Uh, yeah, can make an EVA suit, which needs five iron, five copper. I'm gonna turn that off because power's an issue. As you can see, these batteries keep dying, and for some reason, this thing actually needs power for it to work. Uh, I'm probably doing something wrong. I'm sure I will figure it out. Actually, let's put that one in here because these large cells have more power. Uh, I've read something about having it sort of in between, but I don't see no in between. There's a input. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, oh, that's not what I do. And of course that stopped that. Ugh. That's what I hate. Okay, let's close that. Oh! Ah. Alright, uh, let me rewire this quickly. Okay, let's try this. Yeah, I was a little confused because it's, uh, I thought that was actually a data port. It actually says data on there. The data thing, but it's actually an input. Input and output. Okay, my bad. But basically this is supposed to control how the power flows and prevents this thing from flickering. That was the issue I was having. Right, uh, this is crafted now. Hopefully everything holds up. So I shall return again. Okay, it's almost done. I uh, haven't had any power issues whatsoever ever since I set that up properly. Uh, oh yeah, I do have wire. I was going to say I'm almost out of wire. I'm actually out of wire, but I'm not. Uh, what I've noticed is you can actually... Ooh, wow, that's bright. You can actually see the, prog the process of it printing it. Like it starts out at the very bottom. Eventually, as it gets closer to the finish mark, it's more full inside the unit. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm out of space here, so uh, I guess I'll have to go stick it over. Well, I guess we could put it right here if I got the room for it. Oh, this is big. This is going to be a big guy. Um, hmm. And the sun's going down. Let's see the outputs on this side. So we'll just do this, see if we can tie it into the, wa the power. Why are you not placing there? You don't want to go here for some reason. That's fine. I'll place you there. Get some light going. Uh, you can be out of power, so I'm not going to be able to do much here. Oh, that's the wrong button. There, there, and there. And I'm out of power. Out of power cables. Hmm. Battery charger can move. I have no idea where I'm going to place it, but what do I need to take it apart? I think, uh, probably a screwdriver? Hand drill. Who would have guessed? Yeah, I gotta do something about that suit. Okay, we'll do that. Get the wire cutters. Uh, snip, snip, snip. Uh, uh, inventory, always an issue in this game. Alright. I'm going to assume because I've never actually played this before. Okay, and I'm going to put the... Yes, I know. I know, fine. Okay, we got to work on the dark. There we go. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make myself look like, look like an idiot for the cam on the camera. There we go. Okay, so now i got the wires. Now I can... Uh, actually, what I can do, since I have a full battery... That's not what I want to do. I'll do this. There. For recording purposes. That joke will never get old. Yeah, I'm surprised. I'm surprised nobody made a beam out of it yet. But mind you, my channel's not that big enough for beams yet. We will one day, though. Eventually. Okay, rotate like that, and press to change all. The big unit. Wow. That's the eject button. I need to start building. What? Okay, how do I access this thing? Uh, let me get back up here. And down. And I'm stuck in the machine again. There we go. Yeah. 
early access. Okay, I... Oh. There's the power button. Okay. Fabricated contents. Data. Uh, let's see, open it. Um, 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 um. There's something I'm missing. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Let me look into this. Okay, I'm just about done here. Uh, as you can see, I went ahead and made a new suit and jump, uh, new suit and a helmet. Uh, I don't know how to repair them. I'm sure there's a way, but I'm gonna leave them there for now. Things don't despawn, and uh, I don't know if you can see the particle effects coming off this thing. But apparently, I was taking some heat damage from it. But just a couple more pieces of copper to go through. Uh, that should be it there. Yes, six plus these. Nope. That and just do it this way and that. So yeah, I looked into it and uh, I can't remember if I mentioned I actually have to have a computer with a manufacturing motherboard hooked up to this thing. So we're gonna place the gold, and then we're gonna place the copper, and then we're gonna place the iron. So the first thing we're gonna need is make sure to turn the machines off. Okay, I did turn that off. All right, so turn that on. Uh, we'll. Build the computer first. That actually goes pretty quick. But yeah, it has to be connected to the data port on the front of this machine. Okay, so there is a computer. Now I need a manufacturing motherboard. Now it takes longer to build the motherboard than it does the computer. Now the question I have is this kind of cable gonna be good enough or do I need to make special cable for this? I don't know, a long way to go to make frames, that's for sure. Uh, while this is going, actually, that's something I wanted to try, and I forgot to do, actually check it. Uh, where is it, where is it, where is it? Hmm. We have this paint. I have no idea what we can paint. Let's see if we can... Ooh, we can. Perfect. Uh, I'm assuming the building other things we can build eventually. And there is a circuit motherboard. We turn that off. And now we switch to the computer. The computer needs power too. Of course it does. And we'll put it right there. Uh, coils. Oh yeah, coils I think we can make in here. Turn this light off for now. Let's see my battery. And we need cable coil. Uh, nope. I thought it was in here. There it is. What do we need? That's relatively cheap. We'll make a few of them. Do they stack? Let's check this. No, they don't. Oh, that could be fun. <laughs> you forget about it and... Oh, hell breaks loose. Oh, that's not what I want. So... Helps if I hit the right button. Of course it does. And if I actually choose the right wire I want. Like so. And then we go to a straight. Now that should work. And... Like so. And then of course I gotta pull out the wire cutters. Uh, oh, that's not the wire cutters. Take that out. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, there we go. And just a junction. Needs more. Does it really need more? Okay, I thought it was just a one for one kind of deal. Now you learn something new every day. 
like hit the right proper button to actually bring up the the mouse. So now I just I guess where does the motherboard go? Hmm. Hmm. Where does it go? They could be behind the machine. Ah, there we go. I found it. Okay. Insert so motherboard. Close that. Now I don't think I actually need a data disk. Oh, this is cool. I like this. Okay, fabricator. That's what we do here. Okay. Oh, I really like this. This is really interesting. So, fabricator. I can go and make the crates in there. That doesn't appear we can actually... Oh yeah, we can too. Now, from what I've read, it's more... That some things like the cable coils are actually faster to make in the electron printer. Let's see what else we got in here. Uh, I was looking for iron frames. Apparently this is how we make it. And yes, I'm aware of the highlighter flying by there at the bottom. That's uh, just how it is. Motherboard? Coffee mug. Hmm. Why was I building this thing anyways? <laughs> I cannot remember. Uh, that's however you... Yeah, there was something else I was going to need to build with this. Hang on a sec. Oh, solar panels. That's right. I remember now. So we go on a kit. Solar panels and a battery. I think actually the battery I think we can make in the electronic one. Uh, let's see. Yeah, solar panel right there. You can specify how many you make too. And you also set up cubes. This is quite in depth. Iron wall. That's not what I wanted. I wanted the frames. And battery. battery. Doesn't tell me exactly what I need. Hmm. But it will tell me over here. I'm gonna guess a lot of copper. But I think this one has a battery kit as well. Battery. Steel. Oh, steel's gonna be the arc furnace. That's not the arc furnace, is it? is huh, interesting uh, let me check the recording time and I'll be right back okay I'm back so I was looking around and uh, apparently you can actually build the crates in this uh, I did find the, the frame recipe in there it doesn't say what it actually needs to make them but it does work uh, surprisingly the power is holding up really good uh, that generator has had fuel in it for a while and I just smelted a whole bunch of iron so I'm guessing I got this thing <laughs> being set up right. Anyway, uh, let's uh, go ahead and make some crates so I can get some storage here. And I'm going to go ahead and build, just build all five of them. Iron's plentiful. We'll be able to get more, more made and then we'll eventually get, to get more conveyor stuff going. Uh, inventory is going to be an issue though, but that is fine. Oh, I hate that. I was hoping I'd be able to like just place it, like actually snap it down somewhere. Okay, that's fine. At least I have storage now, and I remember to hit Q to let it go. So that's gonna do that. We can open this up and drag it around if we can. So far, probably the only thing I don't like about this, just how that happens. Uh, yes, I have storage. Yay. Where did that come from? Oh yeah, that has to stay on me. Uh, that's right. So yeah, I can place those in there. Well, not those in there. And just basically keep my inventory free. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be it for this one. Uh, between now and the next episode, I'm going to get a whole bunch more of this built. Maybe add a little bit of color to it. We'll see how it goes. And, and then we'll progress. And we'll try to probably work on a big solar farm. Think, thinking about this, I really could set up with logical controls to have them rotate with the sun and yada 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 yada, or we could just do it my way and just build a giant 
solar farm where I have a third of them facing this way, a third of them facing up, and a third of them facing that way. Hooked up to a giant bank of batteries so that I have more than enough power than I'll ever need. But anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.